Welcome back to Simon Reacts today. It's myself, Simon and Vic reacting to 10 scientifically impossible places that actually exist. Toby said, you gonna learn today. Can I make a guess? A scientifically impossible place that exists, a place that fits Josh's head. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> the seven wonders of the natural world may have been named too quickly. Seven wonders, we should all go. Wonders like the Grand Canyon and Victoria Falls. She should get back up again. <laughs> So Why did you laugh? Why did you laugh then? <laughs> it was so dead. It was, like, it was so dead. <laughs> but sheer size isn't enough to truly leave a person in awe. Aliens built that in it. There are other places in this world, though, that are ah. far stranger. Moses. Places that seem almost alien. As if they could only exist on a planet that evolved separately from wow. our own. <laughs> Earth. Real <laughs> Photoshop, boys. <laughs> At a particular point along the Brule River, the river's water splits into two. One split continues its course onto the Lake Superior, and the other split, well, we have no clue where it goes. Underground. Scientists know it has to end up somewhere, but we don't know where that is. Send a GoPro down there. No. Scientists first tried putting dye into the kettle and waited to see which part of the lake turns up colors. It was a futile effort. Nothing turned up. Next, they decided to try it with ping pong balls. They also vanished without a trace. What the hell is going on? Send a Donny down there. You do that? No. We all know that laws of science dictate that the water has to turn up somewhere, even if it is being stored underground. There should be markings, and it should be traceable. Aliens, parallel universe, glitch in our programming, some Mayan trick? Your guess is as good as mine. So what, they just don't know where the water goes? I feel like you just ain't researched that one enough. I reckon it just goes underground and eventually... Well, you reckon you can solve that one in 10 minutes, Vic? I reckon. I reckon, I reckon with a bit of Googling, we can get to the bottom <laughs> of where that water goes. No, I can give the side men a day and 20 grand and we'll figure it out. We'll send Harry down. Hesdalen Lights. Hestalen Ooh. Valley, Norway. Almost every night, lights appear in the sky. They are of bright colors. Ooh. They dance around, shift shapes flash unmistakably and disappear only to appear the next day during the night i reckon it's russia testing missiles to be honest this has been going on for four decades at least scientists are perplexed by this mystery there are theories though but none seems to be good enough since at least the early 1930s people have spotted the lights and hypothesized what could be causing them that's One so theory weird. suggests that the lake is radioactive. The radon rides dust particles, and upon elevations, it decays and produces just lights. Send something up there. Another theory suggests that the base of the valley is full of sulfuric acid. Sulfur reacts to the water and produces what scientists call Precious sparks. Stinks. Hundreds of tests have been performed to pinpoint True. the All exact I'm is cause. Both of these so far could have been solved with one GoPro. See, honestly, and Harry, promotion. Harry, send Harry. Give in. Harry a GoPro. Harry, and Harry, Harry, all these. <laughs> Harry ain't fitting in that last hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> outrageous. <laughs> what? As in, no human is, <laughs> but especially a big one like Harry. <laughs> <laughs> but to no avail. Number eight, Movile Cave in southeastern Romania. There is a cave that was locked away from the slightest ray of light for 5.5 million years. It counted. It has a completely different atmosphere from the Earth. The cave was discovered by workers looking to set up a power plant. They tested the ground to see if it was a safe place to build and cracked open a pathway that leads into one of the strangest places on Earth. If you descend through the narrow shaft and past a series <laughs> of tunnels, <laughs> you enter a chamber with a lake of sulfuric water stinking of what? rotten eggs. The air there Obvious, is toxic, no. filled with hydrogen sulfide, and contaminated with 100 times the surface's level of carbon dioxide. The strangest part, though, yeah. is that a whole ecosystem has survived inside it. Researchers have found Ugh. 33 species inside the cave that That's don't gross. exist anywhere the fuck outside is that? of it. They've adapted to survive in a sulfuric atmosphere, kind of living crazy. by feeding off a of foam on top of the stones. No. Number 7. Lake Karashe. The Soviet Union had Part many nuclear one. facilities, and most of them were ill-planned and unsafe. Inside one such factory, there is a lake. The lake's water has more radioactive material than Blood. anywhere else on Earth. Lake Blood. Karashe is so radioactive that you will die within an hour if you stand near it. Soviets dumped nuclear waste into the lake. 
their nuclear practices have caused a few problems with the lake in the past. In 1957, <laughs> the an explosion blew <laughs> the factory apart, and the radioactive particles spread more than 23,000 kilometers. The yeah. area is more radioactive than Chernobyl. No the way. lake has been covered with concrete to keep these disasters <laughs> from happening. Still, the entire place is eerily unstable and massively radioactive. Number six, Ugh. the double tree of- If that ain't the Russian way of dealing with it, let's just put concrete on it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else will deal with it. Pave over it. In the countryside of Piemonte, Italy, that looks nice. there is an unusual site. Yeah. There is a cherry tree there that looks, in most respects, just like any other healthy cherry tree, except yeah. that it happens <gasps> to be growing directly on top of a mulberry tree. Huh? This isn't completely unprecedented. I exhibit when he gets a tree. <laughs> Normally, they are small, stunted things that live short lives before falling off. The double tree of Casorzo, though, That's consists cool. of two fully formed, healthy trees. That's sick. That looks like biblical or something. Nobody quite knows how it happened. It's a miracle. Locals <laughs> believe that a bird may have dropped a cherry seed on top of the mulberry tree. The seed grew roots that pushed through the mulberry yeah. tree's hollow trunk. Oh boy, was accurate. <laughs> <laughs> the sleeping city of Kalachi. The city of Kalachi, Kazakhstan is not Disney's creation. Nice. It is as real as it gets. <laughs> okay, Citizens of Kalachi face a very peculiar <laughs> epidemic. People just collapse into naps randomly, even while walking on the road. I think KSI's from there. <laughs> he might be. They also report memory loss, fatigue, and hallucinations. The epidemic affects people from all genders and ages. Kazakhstan has even recommended evacuations but they are no closer to solving the problem. So wait, I need to know, have these people left it and then does it still happen to them? Or does it just happen when you're in there? Yeah, and as people moved in and then it happens to them. Don't know. GoPro would have solved Honestly, it. Honestly, GoPro, everything. One theory suggests that the residents are facing some kind of radiation poisoning since the area is near a uranium mine. However, there are flaws in that theory. All the blood tests and other monitoring has turned up zero evidence. Oh. Secondly, there is a town which is closer to the mine than Kalachi, and they have reported no such epidemic. That's weird. Maybe they just like taking naps. Maybe they're just all lazy. Culture problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just like, naps are good. <laughs> Circles of Namibia. There is an ecological mystery sitting throughout Namibian deserts. I hate snakes, man. There are fields of grass with circles carved in them. Chicken JJ freak out of this. The circles are uh, almost perfectly probably. created and can range yep, from yep, 10 yep, to 65 feet in yeah, diameter. Like that. That's making me uneasy. Forget explaining the circles. Scientists are not even sure of the more basic questions, such as why are there circles? Why not any <laughs> random shape? <laughs> Nothing grows in these Why circle not patches. A square? <laughs> Scientists have come up with various theories, and all have been debunked almost immediately. In 2013, Norbert Jurgens, an environmental scientist, oh, Norbert, said Norbert. that termites were the cause of the circles. But in 2015, biologist Walter Schinkel tested the hypothesis and disproved it. Number three, the hum of Taos. A barely audible buzzing sound that you cannot pinpoint can infuriate you. We have all been there when a distant lawnmower or our TV starts making a buzz. Mm -hmm. And unless and until we don't find where it's coming from, it feels like our brain is eating itself from the inside. Now imagine the pain and frustration of residents of Taos in New Mexico. Since the early 1990s, large numbers of residents of Taos have complained about a constant humming sound. I it can be the other heard residents. all around the town <laughs> and has driven people they nuts. They walk around going, mm. For 20 years, about. various investigators have tried to locate the hum, but to no success. That's right, on sticky notes. Never-ending lightning storm. Yeah. In western go here, Toby. over the Catatumbo River, there is a storm that never ceases. Starting at 7 p.m. every night, lightning crashes over the water for 10 wow. hours every night. 260 nights each year. He said never ceases. Yeah, and then he said 7 p.m. every night, 260 nights a year. Up until recently, the leading theory was that it had something to do with uranium in the bedrock, although scientists are starting to doubt it. Today, the leading theory is a complicated one. That it posits cool. that the shape go. of the mountains cause warm trade winds to collide with cold air from the Andes. That collision is then fueled by the rapidly evaporating water below Gaza. and methane from a nearby oil field. <laughs> I'm a geezer. Nobody actually <laughs> knows for sure, though, why it happens. <laughs> Everything about it is mysterious. Wait, where is including this? I go. one moment in 2010 when it inexplicably stopped. 
One day, the storm just died down without explanation and seemed for a while to be over. Then, after six weeks of silence, it sparked up again and has been raging ever since. Wow! Number one, the Boiling River. Ooh. Deep in the Amazon lies a river four miles long. The Amazon long. freaks me out. Honestly, I what? still haven't watched Joe Weller's video about it. I want to watch too much water. It. I just no, nah, it's just like there's there's too much stuff going on. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're doing too much. They got too many species. Yeah, just cut too half much water, of it down. Too many trees. There's too many ways to die. Get some football pitches in there. Cut some out. Get some pitches in there. Get sides in there. Then, a couple XX vodka. You yeah. Know. Okay. <laughs> the Shane Timpishka is so hot that any animal that steps into it gets boiled alive. Free dinner? Where if they swim in? When a hapless creature wanders in, the eyes cook first, melting in its skull. <gasps> Soon, the animal is in too much pain to keep swimming to safety. Water fills its mouth and lungs, and it is cooked from the inside out. Free oven. Normally, water that gets this hot is fed by a volcano. That's what I would have said. But this one is 700 kilometers removed from the nearest one. It could be like underground. Yeah. Right? yeah. Scientists believe that boiling hot water from under the earth cracks through fault lines and heats up the river, making the water a geothermal system unlike any other on earth that's quite sick all right you gotta go to one which one lightning storm lightning storm lightning storm oh, this song's a bit dangerous so what if you get sparked if i die i die i'm going to the humming place so you can join in with the people humming mm. yeah what are you doing babe? um i'll go and look at the tree within a tree that's so dead bro you're gonna <laughs> <laughs> bro, it looks like a nice place forest. Done it. you'll see more bro. trees it looks like a nice place bro look out your window right now you'll see a tree yeah but not one going out of a tree you'll see two trees <laughs> vic star want two trees honestly i'll go sleeping <laughs> <laughs> I'll go Kazakhstan, sleepy town for a nap. Hey, don't sleep on my joke, Vic. <laughs> uh, but I'm 